Hey guys, it's Amber Lee with Plano PTA Arts and Education. Today let's talk about how you're going to upload your art for submissions. Like at this school, Harrington, we've learned that they're going to do digital submissions this year. You're going to go to your PTA website and find the reflections page, just like we did with Harrington. Click on that banner, it's going to take us to the form. And now you can see, here's the sign up for Harrington all the directions that you need to see about how to do this, the due date and everything is listed right there for you. Make sure you're labeling it properly. And then it shows you kind of some suggestions on how to create a digital version of your art, especially if your art isn't already digital. How is the best way to do that? So make sure you take note of what we're listing out here as a great way to prepare your art for a digital submission. It's also very important that you read the rules as usual for any type of contest or program. So let's click on that real quick. You'll see here everything you need to know about participating. It can be a little overwhelming to be honest, right? When you see all this information, you think, oh my gosh, is it worth it? It is worth it. You get to share your art and be inspired by a theme. So go for it. Here you're gonna see all that's required, lots of details here, but don't be overwhelmed too much. Just read through this briefly and check out some of the rules. Some things that are really important are things like um, you must be the owner of the, of the art, right? Um, also, let's point out information about copyright. It's important that we're not copywriting someone else's art or giving, making sure we're giving credit where it's due. It even shows you how to prep your art and packaging. The things are important, but so it's very important that if you're gonna enter something in music or photography, you read about how to do that. So now that we're done reading all the rules, we'll click yes, we have read and understand this, so we could be disqualified, but also see the link for membership. This is a quick way to get signed up if you aren't already a member. So let's fill out our entry form. First, make sure you're on the right account. In previous years, you would have printed this and then attached it to your entry. This year, this replaces it. You will no longer need to have a paper version. So fill out all the information. And when you get to your title, make sure it's a unique title. You don't always need to say the theme in your title. Go in and type out all the information carefully. And as you're going, make sure this is correct. Is this all this right? It's asking for your email addresses and mailing addresses and all those things. Believe me, we're not using your information for any reason other than for reflections here. Um, it is important that you have support from your parent or guardian your arts coordinator has worked very hard to create a way for you to still participate in reflections even though this year can be a little bit different as you'll notice it says a pta member must be in your household so this is a requirement in order to be a part of uh, reflections you have to have a member in your household so please make sure and confirm that you have joined for this school year and you'll put the date down. If you have any questions, just contact your local coordinator um, or PTA. And then they've listed the next section as your artist statement, just like you would in your paper version. It tells you this is how you would normally write out at the bottom of your paper. Tell us all about your art and what is your inspiration with the theme. The theme is very important. You're also going to give credit to what kind of instruments did you use, or is there music in the background of your video or your dance, or how big is your art? Let's say uh, 12 by 18, oh, not feet, uh, 12 by inches, 12 inches by 18 inches. And we're gonna talk about, um, well, is it on a canvas or a canvas board or what kind of paint did I use? So we'll say acrylic on canvas board. And um, then maybe I did a collage or something. So I would add, you know, paper or um, collage here. So um, you're gonna give details about your art on this particular, space. Here's your artist statement. Uh, you're going to write out how this art is inspired. Uh, oops, let's make sure our spelling is correct, right? Um, how this art is inspired by the theme. I matter because, which is our theme for this year, is reflected in our art. So did you pick up on that? It's called reflections because we are reflecting a theme in our work of art. So this is very important because how else are the judges going to know what you're thinking or why you were inspired? So they need to know why you created the art, what inspired you, and 
how did you make it? Like what some materials did you use? If you only use 10 words, it may not get the message across. I mean, this is your chance to share the, the message behind your art because you can't be there to explain yourself. So take the time to do that here. Now you're gonna add your name as your digital signature, just like you would on the paper version. So next, okay, last step, we're gonna upload our entry. So as soon as we upload our images for our files, then we can hit the submit button. But let's go find some files. All right, so I've selected our file. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have prepped beforehand. So let's see if I did. I'm gonna go find here, add my photo. And I've got a couple photos here. Whoops, I did not label them correctly. So as you guys are very familiar with, you can just go in here and look at these images first. This one looks pretty good. Um, oh, wait, that, you know what? The first one is a better choice because I'm not showing the background in the first one. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the first picture. So let's choose that first picture. I'm gonna rename it to make sure it matches what I just filled out in my form. There it goes. I'm gonna go and make sure it's correct. Let's see here. I need to make sure at the very beginning at the, of our form, you saw how it tells us how to label our art. So take note of that, but I need my grade. Now I'm gonna have my name, then I'm gonna have my category, and then the title. Okay, so wait a second. What if I have more than just one picture because maybe I have a collage and I wanna show some? Well, I can label this number one or I can label it the second picture, whichever one it is, but I wanna label it if I have more pictures. But in this case, I have just the one. So I'm gonna click that as my submission. And double check that my form is correct and all the things line up and match my image with my form, right? So now I can submit after I'm choosing the files that match my form. So let's go and do that again. We're gonna click on my reflections entry folder, the one that I renamed that was the better choice of the two, right? And now it's there. So I can just go and click submit and I'm finished, kind of easy. So you'll see here, I can actually submit another response, say I have a video or a dance or something I wanna add. So I'll go back through this one more time or three more times or however many times. I've already read the rules and understand the rules. So I can just skip through this pretty quickly for the multiple entries that I wanna submit this way. So as long as I'm doing this, it's going to take the place of our paper version. Now, what I actually need to fill out this paper form, the only time you'll need it is if your art is advancing to council. But for now, at our campuses, you can just type all this information in that matches this paper form, and it's gonna populate automatically into a spreadsheet for your campus coordinator. And this way, your information is accurate, and that form is gonna match each piece of art. So you'll go through this whole thing again, upload the next, submission and then you've entered reflections and make sure you contact your campus if you have any questions but I hope this video is helpful and I hope that you're able to participate in reflections this year.